Hi folks, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix or add in batch missing payee names on transactions that were originally created with a missing payee. If you've seen my video in my channel called Do Not Do This in QuickBooks, and uh, you can search that if you want to, or I'll put a link in the description. Not the one by this guy, he literally just copied my idea and did the same type of video three days later. But if you look at my video, I specifically go through the steps of why um, I think this is a problem. I show you how people originally make the mistake of, of not putting the payee names. And I state all the reasons why it drives me freaking bonkers when people do this. Anyway, to fix the problem, you have to be logged in as an accountant. So only accountants with accountant access can actually log in and do this that I'm about to show you. And the way you know you're logged in as an accountant is you see the big accountant logo in the top left of the screen. Anyway, we're gonna click here where it says uh, month end review. So it's gonna be on the left hand side, all the way in the top, month end review. And down here, there's a little box that says transactions without payees. Now, that has been there for probably a few months, but I only discovered it recently, and I was completely mind blown that that thing was here. As a matter of fact, accidentally hidden in this little feature, QuickBooks has single-handedly started to solve my biggest problem and my biggest pet peeve with QuickBooks files. Now, I am gonna criticize the fact that QuickBooks makes it only available for accountants, I think you should make this available for regular users or at least the advanced users that pay the top dollar for your QuickBooks file. Please add this feature at least on your advanced file. The other major criticism I have is just let's call it um, or positive feedback. So the feedback I wanna give to QuickBooks is, hey, this feature needs its own screen with all sorts of tools. Right now you can only expand and collapse that is limited to 10 transactions and you kind of have to go through them. See, I got 215 transactions missing payees. If this tool was a little bit more sophisticated, but a tiny little bit, I could do the, fix these problems a lot faster, but at least I got the tool here. And the one thing that drives me crazy is that I can't sort by memo or sort by amount or filter by memo or filter by amount or by account or by date. It's just sitting there and it has columns in the top, so it looks like a, like a table that you can click on things and sort, but it doesn't work. So anyway, I hope somebody from QuickBooks is looking at this and understands that what I'm about to show you, it's a mind, it's a game changer for a lot of people like me that need to fix messy QuickBooks files. Anyway, so one, once we're on the screen, notice that I have missing payee or vendor on transactions in which in the memo, and these memos came from the bank, so these were bank downloads that came from the memo. In the memo, I have enough information to decide what vendor name or what payee I'm gonna put. So check this out. I'm gonna select transaction one, this one that says TST Mitch Westside, and then transaction two, TST Westside. Okay, two transactions apparently for the same dollar amount. And we're gonna click on add payee, and then we're gonna type here Mitch. Okay, I guess the vendor doesn't exist. So if it doesn't exist, I'm just gonna click on the drop down menu and click where it says add new, create a new vendor and call it Mitch West side. And it would be nice that the vendor would be the default option, but whatever, the customer is the default option. It's just one little step if you're creating the vendor from the screen. Then click on save and then your vendor is created or it should be here. Let me type again to see if it could, if it could find it. Okay, there it is, Mitch West side. The screen's missing a little bit of a improved workflow, but you understand the concept. I'm creating the vendor, not selecting an existing vendor, and then after created, selecting the vendor. Then I click on apply, and boom, in one shot, both of those transactions get added their missing payee. Let me show you. We got four Intuit payroll here. So I'm gonna select one, two, three, four. Now, shift click doesn't work. In, in, in the normal world, in the real world, you would click on one thing, hold the shift key and click on the last one and all four will be selected for whatever reason they have not enabled it on this screen. Again, into it if you're watching. Pay attention, man, these details are important. Anyway, we're gonna click on here and add payee and then we're gonna type here uh, into it uh, payroll. Yes, I have it already so I don't have to create it. Click on apply and boom, all those things get created in one shot. So this is gonna be a lot better than going into transaction by transaction and changing it. So as I mentioned earlier, this screen would be incredible if, if it would be its own screen with 
unlimited transactions or 100 or 200 or 300, not limited to 10. I, I should be, I hope, hope that they fix this and they add the ability to sort and filter and shift click so we can do uh, this uh, fairly quickly. Um, and, you know, long story short, this feature kind of belongs, really does belong in a different separate feature called reclassify. So if you click on the accountant tools and click on reclassify, you're going to have um, a screen that actually works really, really well. I'm going to go back here a couple of years so we get more data where you can click on any of these transactions and you can select in batch. And here um, you can do multiple clicks. You can sort. And so that's in this screen, everything that I described earlier works really, really well. And then in, in, in here or from this uh, screen, you can batch reclassify account, class, and location, but you cannot batch reclassify vendor. So even though it's not in this screen, which is, in my opinion, where this tool should be, uh, it's in that uh, monthly review. And again, it, it saves you a lot of time. I know I criticized it a lot just because it's, it was just sort of thrown in there. This wonderful, amazing uh, thing was just thrown in there without really thought of how powerful it could be. So Hopefully, they'll fix that by the time you watch this video or in the future. Now, if this concept of logging in as an accountant or using your accountant login to do this sounded like Greek to you, well, I have a different video called QuickBooks Online Undo Bank Reconciliations for Non-Accountants, which is another one of those features that's only available for accountants. And in that video, I explain how to create an accountant account, which for now, it's a free process. Hopefully, at some point, they'll charge accountants, so non-accountants don't have access to it. But anyway, um, check out that video. It explains the process of how to create an accountant account so you can get those accounting tools and then invite yourself as the accountant. Now, the next time you log into QuickBooks Online, you're not going to log in into your company file. You're going to log in into your accounting firm. We're going to click right here where it says Garcia Consulting. And then under Garcia Consulting should be all the companies that you have invited to that accounting firm to be their accountant. So I'm going to click on Garcia Consulting. And now the screen looks a little bit different because you're going to see a big accountant uh, icon on the left-hand side. And now here you're going to see all of the clients that you can log into and manipulate their accounts. So I'm going to click here, it says Hector Garcia Corporation, and I'm going to click in that uh, QuickBooks icon to the left of it, and that's going to log me in into the same file as the accountant. You're going to see the exact same thing that you see uh, diff, you know, from when you logged in as a regular user, but you will have additional set of features such as the batch uh, payee that I showed just now. The difference between log in, logged in, being logged in as an accountant versus logged in as a user is the big accountant tag on the left-hand side. You're welcome to explore and look at all the features, extra features you have as an accountant here under accountant tools. There's a, co a couple of cool features like reclassified transactions, writing off invoices, and there's a couple like sort of hidden things throughout the QuickBooks Online accountant uh, SKU. But that's how you uh, log in to your own QuickBooks file as an accountant. All right, folks, now that I have your attention, I need two favors from you. One, if you agree with me that what I showed you in this video is mind-blowingly amazing and you demand that this feature, it's available in your regular QuickBooks Online Advance, not just for accountants, but at least in your QuickBooks Online Advance, because this is an advanced feature for advanced users, put it in the comments below and I will literally copy and paste the comments and email it to the president of QuickBooks and let them know that there's a lot of people that agree with me that this should be available for all users or at least advanced users, not just accountants. In addition to that, the little things that I said that I wish the feature had more, if you agree with me or have other ideas on how this uh, payee tool can be expanded, add it in the comments below as well and hit like so this video gets some traction. And again, I can send that to the powers that be so they can make the product better. So thank you if you do that. I would really appreciate that. Favor number two, if you love my content, if you're a fan of my content, if you learn and get smarter, become a better user and accountant when you watch my videos, I want, you, I want to invite you to subscribe to my advanced content. So you're going to go to hectorgarcia.com forward slash subscribe. I'll put the link in the description 
and that's going to get to the landing page to my advanced contents course. Now, you can subscribe to all of my advanced content for QuickBooks Power users, accountants, bookkeepers that want to learn from me how to do QuickBooks online banking and be more efficient, how to use QuickBooks for construction. For example, I have a whole section on construction, how to use QuickBooks online to serve multiple industries. You're going to see that I recorded uh, like 12 or 13 different industries, advanced Excel tips and cleanup tips for accountants and data import tips for accountants and also how to uh, price your services, how to position your brand and how to create productized services and a whole bunch of other things that I will be creating in the future. Right now, as I date of this video, I have three years worth of advanced content that I've done both for small business users and for accountants. I'm bundling all into one subscription that right now it's priced at $50 a month. You're going to click right there where it says subscribe to all my advanced content. And uh, two things. One, there's a seven-day free trial, so you can get full access to all that stuff, be blown away, and pay the 50 bucks a month. But two, if you click on add coupon code and you type early 50, I want to give the first 50 people 50% discount off my subscription for life. And what I mean by for life this is the beginning of me developing what I like to call the Netflix of accounting. I am going to continue to be creating advanced content, advanced level content for power users, for accountants, for bookkeepers, for anyone that wants to make their life better using QuickBooks and related tools. And I'm going to continuously to, to do new content, upload it, and you have access to all that stuff only if you subscribe. Right now, the subscription is $50 a month. At some point, when I do become the Netflix of accounting, we will have a higher price or whatever. But the first 50 people that use that coupon will get a 50% discount for life because you guys are the early founders. You're the ones that are helping me get the advanced content subscription up and running. So anyway, there's a seven-day free trial. Uh, add comments, hit like, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.